Hey, what's going on? I'm Nyark here, and uh, I'm going to just real quick apologize for not uploading yesterday, but I wasn't home, and I didn't foresee that coming, so I didn't schedule an upload. But uh, today I wanted to just bring you this video talking about the best SMG in the game. Um, this is after the most recent patch for the uh, Xbox One and PS4, but it will be coming to the PS3 and Xbox 360 soon. Um, I am using the class in, in this game right now. Uh, it is the ASM-1. Um, I'm rocking the foregrip and the red dot sight. I'll probably take off red dot sight for maybe advanced rifling uh, and the quick draw grip later on. I'll, I'll be plus, I'll be uh, messing around with the attachments as I see fit. Um, but I'm running uh, perk three greed and streaker. We've got low profile because uh, I know some people run lightweight with SMGs just so you can get like maximum movement speed. But I really don't like to move that fast. I find myself rushing too much, and uh, you know it's just not a good time. So uh, just low profile for the first one. Cold blooded for the second one, just because you know sometimes if you like to run around corners and then hide from someone, like you know and expecting them to come around the corner and challenge you, you can just you know you don't get uh, detected because you have cold blooded. And uh, and then we also have uh, toughness and blast suppressor. Um, I, I like to put hardline on usually, but I didn't really feel the need to for this class because, you know, honestly, you're just going to be doing so well <laughs> with this class. Um, you really don't need scavenger either because you get a ton of ammo with this thing. Uh, it's like 125 ammo or rounds per thing. Per, there are 125 ammo reserve plus you start with, like, I think a 45 round clip or something, and that's without extended mags extended mags so you know this thing gets it's got a huge clip and uh you know and a lot of people i see running around with the extended mags because it's got the uh like the um it looks like a what's it called like a tommy gun but honestly i don't see why you would need that uh, this thing has a huge clip to begin with and i really don't think you need to extend it anymore and then obviously i run the uav system hack bombing run aerial assault drone um the uav and system hack both have the assist points uh, module and then it's a naked bombing run and uh, the AR HUD plus rockets uh, modules on the AR I mean on the um, aerial assault drone so uh, as you can see in this game I'm just wrecking these kids um, I'm kind of just patrolling this little portion of the map here um, because you know you get you get the people coming from the the top here not as frequently but you get them coming from there and then the two sides because people spawn on either side of the map so when the spawns flip you still can just run right over to the other side there and a lot of people like to camp in that room right there too so you, you know they get they run over there and start camping and they think that they're you know they're smart and they're hiding but uh, you've been there the whole time and you can just run up and and take them out but uh, this guy failed knife there but yeah, this thing is really good. Um, surprisingly, this thing is really good hip firing. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. You know, I've been using the BAL, the AK-12, and those guns are, are decent. Um, I mean, the BAL is still really good, but uh, the this gun, you know, those two aren't very good at hip firing, and this gun really just tears them apart from the hip. Uh, it's it's nice, you know, to finally have a gun in this game that you can hip fire, and uh, you might not need quick draw quick draw um, grip with this gun um, I don't have it yet but I will be unlocking it uh, soon because you know I'm loving this gun um, but you know I, I would tell you to heed caution and only use this gun on maps with close quarters engagements otherwise you're probably better off sticking to the battle of the AK-12 um, but the other thing I wanted to talk about in this video is the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions need to be fixed uh, this game honestly there's still player out of world glitches that are absolutely annoying they're really obvious and they've been around since day one and I don't know why Sledgehammer didn't fix them with the last patch but you know they're really really obnoxious and I'm still getting horrible connection issues um, I'm still connecting to people in Mexico uh, that's something that's been happening to me a lot and um, you know, it's just it's just an unacceptable connection. Uh, in in previous Call of Duties, like in Modern Warfare 3, I think I was a 2.2 KD player, a 2.0 KD player, something around there. Um, Ghost, I think I was like a 1.5, 1.6 around there. Uh, I didn't take that game as seriously as I took Modern Warfare 3. Um, you know, so uh, previous Call of Duties, I've been you know an above average player. Um, not you know obviously not pro player, not the best player. Even you know even in certain lobbies, I'm I'm not usually the best player I may be I'm almost always a second best player if not the best player but you get the point I'm an above average player uh, for sure on Call of Duty and previous ones but in this game I'm rocking right now like a 1.3 KD um, I can actually uh, check it right now if I if I can pull it up on my PS3 1.28 and that's been steadily going down uh, since the last patch the last patch 
was decent for, for, for a little while, but um, I don't know what's happened recently, but it's just been atrocious. Um, my games, I've been either going, you know, I've either been getting, you know, breaking even with a 1KD or even even less than that. And, uh, you know, it's just been it's just been unacceptable, and it's making the game really not fun to play. And I understand that their priorities are, you know, with the, uh, you know, the, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. But, you know, it's just, it's unacceptable. But anyway, here's uh, here's where the game cuts out. My PS3 froze. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but they need to fix the game because it keeps crashing my PS3, and my PS3 doesn't crash with other games. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please a leave a like on the video. Uh, comment, tell me what you think about the ASM1 and the connection issues. And, uh, you know, definitely uh, subscribe if you want more videos like this one and share it on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, or wherever else you want because either way it helps me and I appreciate it so much. And you guys are the best. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later. I'm Niak out. Peace.